Hey guys, it's Carrie. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you're having a beautiful Sunday so far. Um, so I am here today because I wanted to share with y'all my retail wax haul collection, whatever you want to call it. Um, and this is pretty big. Um, I counted before I came on and I have 31 clamshells. Now that is probably not big for a lot of you guys, but for me, that's a lot of clamshells to have like at one time. Um, but these were not all bought um, at the same time. These have been purchased maybe over a period of two weeks. And I just kind of have been like building up, building up, saving, because I really wanted to put all of them in one big video. Um, some of these are Walmart. Some of them are Kroger. I have a couple of Swan Creek. Yeah, and I think that's it. Um, there are several that I have like more than one. Um, because I found a scent that I really, really liked. So I just went ahead and bought like more than one of that scent. Um, yeah, so I just was super excited to share this with y'all. So let's get started. Um, and I have them kind of all laid out right here on the table. And then I also have this big basket. So after I show y'all a particular uh, clam, I'm just gonna drop it in my basket. All right, so we'll start with this one. This is Mainstays from Walmart. It's one of the smaller clams. These used to go for, I believe, 98 cents, and then I think they raised their price. I wanna say they go for like a dollar and 10 cents now. Um, it's a 1.25 ounce clamshell. You get six little pieces, I mean, but they're, they're pretty small. And I, really, really liked this scent. But when I got it, my store only had one. I'm kind of on the hunt for more because I really, really like it on cold. This is Sweet Sugared Lemon. Yeah, this is just so good. Um, and I don't know if I would necessarily call this bakery lemon. Um, because I don't get like Starbucks lemon loaf vibes off of this. And that's kind of how I base all of my lemon bakery scents. This, I think the picture does this one justice because it really does smell like a freshly squeezed glass of lemonade. It's really, really, really good. Um, I don't get lemon cleaner vibes, at least on cold I don't. Um, we'll have to wait and see once it's warmed, but I, I'm looking for more of this. So... Let me know in the comments if you've ever tried this one and what you think. All right, so we'll stay on Walmart, but this is Sensationals. Now this one, I found this just a few days ago. And when I saw it, it was really the picture. I'll show you the picture on the front. The picture just caught my eye. It was so pretty. It's golden apple. I mean, look at that picture. It's stunning. So. I really got this for the picture. Um, it does say with a hint of honey drizzle. Honey, mm, I can take or leave in wax. Um, so I smelled it and I mean, it's nice. It's really, really nice. I don't know like if I would normally go for a scent like this. It is kind of hilarious that I just got it because the picture was so pretty. Um, I do get a little bit of honey in this. I was going to try to pop it out, see if it will come out. Um, there's something about this that kind of gives me, uh, this does not want to come out. There we go. It says fruit in here. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess I get fruit. I do get apple. I don't really get the honey in this. Um, it almost smells like it could be a body care. It's really, really pretty. It is sweet though. And I guess it's the honey that's making it sweet. Um, so I'm gonna be interested to see how this one does. Not normally a scent I would go for, but 
the picture got me. <laughs> All right, we'll stay with Sensationals. Another one that I normally would not go for, but I'm really, really trying so hard, you know, to branch out and try scents that I normally wouldn't try. This is Bubbles. Thought the name was super cute. It says Unbelievable Freshness. Now, and look, I mean, the blue is really, really pretty. And of course it says fresh. So, you know, I'm not like opposed to freshness in wax. I, um, and I'm really not opposed to laundry. Like if I have wax that is laundry scented or, you know, that kind of thing, I will melt it. It's not like it makes me sick or, you know, I just can't stand it. I will melt it. It's just not like my favorite and it's not my go-to. It's not something that I would normally pick up. But because we're kind of getting into springtime, you know, spring cleaning, leaving your windows open, that kind of thing, that's what this makes me think of. And it's really, really nice. It's really clean. Yeah, so I don't get laundry in this as much as I do just like fresh, fresh, clean. Maybe, maybe like the slightest hint of like a downy dryer sheet. But I mean, like a teeny bit of that. So, I mean, I'm excited. I really want to try more scents like this in the springtime just to kind of get that fresh, clean feeling in the house. We will stay on Sensationals. This is Iced Lemon Sugar Cookies. Uh, a soft and chewy citrus treat, of course, from the bakery family. Yeah, now this this is lemon bakery this might might give me starbucks lemon loaf feels it's really really good oh yeah this just kind of gets me like so excited for like the warmer months it's really good it's not as lemony as i thought it was going to be i guess that sugar cookie is kind of like toning the lemon down a little bit but it's still really, really good. Excited for that one. See if I have any more sensationals. Yes. Uh, this one I was really excited about. This is Watermelon Sugar. And I've seen this one reviewed on YouTube. I can't remember who it was that reviewed it. Um, it might have been Carson, but I don't remember. It just says here, on a summer evening, fruit family, of course. This one, yeah, it's okay. Um, it's not as watermelony as I was hoping for. I, I actually thought, you know, with the name watermelon sugar that it was gonna be like really sweet and juicy watermelon. It's kind of light. So I will probably try like a couple of cubes and see how it does on warm. And then I might need to maybe mix this or blend this with some of my other watermelon wax to kind of amp up the flavor a little bit. So we'll have to wait and see on that one. Uh, okay, I have two more sensationals, I think. Yes, okay. <laughs> so these two, again, like so out of my little box that I have like to stay in for a year. Um, but I don't know, kind of branching out. This one is, <laughs> and the name, I thought the name was really funny. Aquaholic, and it says on here, eucalyptus and sea salt. So I am really, and I've said this before, like I'm really, really coming around to salty sea air, sea salt. I just, I love that in, in blends. Um, oh yeah, and look how pretty this blue is. This, oh, I'm sorry, from the Wood family. That's interesting. All right. If any of you guys know, maybe help me out in the comments. Why would something like this be in the wood family? I would think it would be like in the fresh family, but because I don't smell anything in this that is even like reminiscent of wood in the, in the slightest. <laughs> um, this is beautiful. Oh, this is so pretty. 
yeah so this is not laundry this yeah it should say fresh because this is fresh it's aquatic oh it's beachy but not like coconut beachy it's just very like tranquil and calm and soothing oh i love this so much so maybe you know sea salt is going to be one of my loves and with the eucalyptus i really didn't get like a whole lot of eucalyptus in here um you know because I guess when I hear the word eucalyptus or I see it, my mind just immediately goes to Bath and Body, like the stress relief care line, because I have so much of that in my bathroom, like that, you know, eucalyptus and spearmint. And I don't really get that in this, but it's really pretty though. I'm glad to have that one. Now this one on the other hand, um, this is Seashore Splash. So I was in Walmart last week picking up some groceries, went down the wax melt aisle, and I just, I mean, I was like quickly, quickly looking, um, and I really didn't have time to like sit there and smell. I kind of got this one because I thought, I just assumed that it was going to be, you know, like this one, like kind of salty sea air, beachy, because it says make some waves, you know? There's a picture, so I just assumed. Um, and it's the Fresh Family, which I still think that's what should be on this one. <laughs> but, okay, so, and I didn't even smell this one in the store. I probably should have. Um, because when I got home and I smelled it, I'm not the biggest fan of this one. Um, this, to me, smells like, um, like, Axe, uh, like, body spray or, like, you know, the three-in-one body wash <laughs> for guys. I get masculine in this. Yeah, I don't get beachy. I, and it, it is fresh. Like, it smells like a freshly um, showered man. So I'm not the biggest fan of that one. Um, don't know if I will melt this one or not. I might pass this along to a friend. Okay, I think that's it for Sensationals, but we will stay on Walmart. Uh, I do have a Better Homes and Gardens here. This one is a newfound love, you guys. <laughs> this is, I don't know how you say it, Caribbean, Caribbean, I say Caribbean, Sea Breeze. And I love the Better Homes and Gardens clams because you get all the scent notes and I'll read them to you. Sea breeze, pineapple, honeydew, coconut water, sea salt. See, again with the sea salt. I really think I like that. Orchid, moss, and white woods. Oh, now I did smell this one in the store. Oh, this is so nice. First thing I get is I get the pineapple and the honeydew. I get like the tropical fruits. Oh, and then I get the coconut. Isn't it so funny? Like you would never think that you could smell sea breeze. But scents are so magical because they just like transport you to, you know, a different place. And you do, you smell the ocean air. You smell like that breeze and even the seagulls are like, you know, caw, caw. <laughs> it just makes me feel like I'm on a Caribbean, Caribbean beach somewhere. It's amazing. I highly recommend this one. Love it. Um, okay. So the rest of my Walmart are mainstays. So we'll do these. Um, now all of these are the little, um, inexpensive clams like the dollar and ten cent clams um so this one here i got two of this is blueberry sorbet which is lemon blueberry and sugar cane i'm gonna drop these in my basket real quick um i do like blueberry scents and wax um i have a blueberry candle in my candle cabinet that i'm kind of waiting for later in the spring and summer to burn. Um, so 
I love pairing blueberry wax with my blueberry candle. It just, it really, really just adds that depth and dimension. This one is light. I do get the blueberry. I get no lemon in this. Sugar cane, I mean, it's not super sweet. It's just a very, very soft blueberry scent. Um, but yeah, hopefully if I pair this with the candle, it might get a little bit stronger. I got two of At The Fair. Um, this is Churros Brown Sugar and Funnel Cake. I would have gotten more of this one, but my Walmart only had two. Yeah, this is good. Um, I do smell the churros and brown sugar, but again, it's a little bit light. And when I got these, um, I noticed that, you know, the clamshell, it's, I don't know if you can see because of the lighting, but the clamshell had kind of like faded and turned like stained. So I don't know if that means these are older and they have been on the cabinet for a long time or, you know, on the counter in the store. But I do, like, I smell the churros and brown sugar. It's just very faint. And, you know, these are so inexpensive. And the bad thing about it is because the cubes are so small, I mean, you have to put several. <laughs> like, when I melt these, because they are so teeny tiny, I usually have to put, like, four um, in a warmer to get any kind of scent throw. But, I mean, you know, you get what you pay for. So, um, now this one... Actually, these last three, super duper strong on cold. So I'm sure they're going to be just as strong when I warm them. This one is sweet apple. Oh my goodness, you guys. This is so yummy. It's juicy apple, pear, and vanilla. And I want to show you this green color. It's just like this, not really lime green, but kind of a, you know, what would you call that? mint green maybe this is amazing this is so strong to be a dollar and ten cents this is mighty strong so i may not have to put four i may you know who knows i might get by with just two or three because this one is really really strong it is it is not mac apple it is tart greeny smith apple and i love it oh I'm so glad I got two. I might need to go back and get more of that one because that one is yummy. And this one I was really excited to find. Um, and at first I just found one, but I liked it so much that I like just started searching and I found another one. My store only had two, so I might need to go back and see if I can find more. Um, but this, I, it must be like older packaging because it doesn't have the you know scent notes or whatever. Uh, this is Papaya Passion. Um, <laughs> this one is really good too. Nice and strong. Yeah, this just smells like a, I do, I get the papaya, I get tropical goodness. Yeah, like a mixed drink. <laughs> Maybe that mixed drink right there. It's really yummy. Mm, that is good. Might need more of that one. And then my last one, I managed to get three of this one, um, Crispy Treats. It's kind of, I guess, like a step down from the Marshmallow Krispies. Um, lemon, Marshmallow, and Cereal Accord. Oh, but it's good. Yeah, to me, this just smells like a little bit softer version of Marshmallow Krispies. I wanted Marshmallow Krispies, but my store was all sold out of that one. But this one works just as well. Yeah, it's good. Oh, thought I had wax on me again. <laughs> yeah, it's delicious. I love that one. Happy to have three. Okay, so let's move on to my Swan Creek, and then we will end with the Kroger. Um, all right, so I have two Swan Creeks here. And actually, both of these were a gift from my nieces and my nephew at Christmas. So, because they are so sweet, they know that I, you know, 
adore wax. They know that I have a channel. So they just thought it would be so fun to give me some wax melts to review here on my channel. Um, and I've just kind of had these sitting um, and I realized I have not even talked about these on my channel yet. So I want to share them with y'all so I can get started melting them and then, you know, tell you how they did. I have only um, melted Swan Creek once before and that scent was like simmering apple cider or something. And that one was amazing. And I had people comment because I had asked, you know, for like opinions on Swan Creek because I didn't know. I've had some people say it doesn't work for them. I had other people say they love it. They get great performance. So I just kind of went into it not really sure. Well, the one that I melted just did great. So I'm excited for these. Um, because these were Christmas gifts, they found me a Christmas scent. Um, but you don't get scent notes on Swan Creek. This is Santa's Little Helper. So I'm just going to have to kind of rely on my sniffer for this. Ooh, that's good. Oh, and it does have glitter. I think all Swan Creeks either have like glitter or drizzle, right? Oh, okay. What am I smelling in this? It says Santa's Little Helper, but I'm trying to figure out like if this is giving me Christmas vibes. There might be like the slightest, slightest hint of like pine in here, maybe. Maybe mint. Maybe like a minty pine. <laughs> I don't really get bakery feels on this at all. But when I smell that on cold, like to me, this doesn't just say strictly Christmas time. Like I feel like you could melt this anytime. It's it's really good. And I mean, look guys, the cubes are huge. Last time I melted Swan Creek, I mean, I put one of these in a warmer and then it was so strong. The next time I was able to cut it in half. So one, two, three, four, five, six. If you cut them in half, you get 12 melts. Um, so yeah, very excited for that. And then the next one they got me was a drizzle melt in Snickerdoodle. So they know their aunt very well. <laughs> oh, this is good, you guys. This is so good. Oh, man, that's delicious. You get the slightest hint of, like, cinnamon sugar, but it is so not spicy it's just right not spicy lovers would enjoy this oh it's good i've had snickerdoodle scents before where the spice was really heavy and i like that too but this is delicious i get the cookie note i get that cinnamon sugar note Ooh, i'm excited for that one also year round so thank you, Madison, Ian, and Reagan, my sweet nephew and nieces for those. I will enjoy melting those. All right, and we're going to end with some Kroger. Now, if you watched my video um, several weeks ago about my Valentine melting basket, where I had all of these like just really sweet Valentine melts that I had purchased at Kroger, well, I had... I saw somebody on Facebook, like in one of the wax chat groups, said that she had visited Kroger after Valentine's Day and all of their Valentine melts were 99 cents. So I was like, heck yeah, I'm just going to pop into my Kroger and see. And I was able to score some for 99 cents. Um, some of these, probably the majority of them, I will like store and just keep in my cabinet for next valentine's there's a couple of them i might enjoy before so some of these i did have um just a couple of weeks ago let's see i think okay i know this one let me see i know this one i did have um and i loved it raspberry linzer cookies Oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh man, you guys, this one was awesome. 
Awesome, awesome. And when I saw it for 99 cents, I grabbed another one. It is so good, so heavy on the raspberry. It almost gives you like raspberry jam. It's so good. Now, I don't remember. I really do think, I think I had this one, but I don't remember. I, I'm gonna have to go back and watch my empties to see if I had this one. I think I did. It's hot stuff. Um, spice. I'm sure I did. I mean, being like a cinnamon spice scent, I can't imagine me not having had this one. Yeah, it's it's like a red hot cinnamon. So very excited for that one. And then again, I don't remember if I had this one either. Ugh, so much has happened since then. <laughs> Strawberry cream. I'm gonna have to go back and watch and see. Yeah, this is great. This is just a very Ooh, that's good. Juicy strawberry scent. Love it. Um, now, I don't think I had any of these that I have left. Yeah, I think all of these are new purchases for me. Because um, I don't remember. Yeah, I don't remember melting this one. This is Silky Satin. Um, you know, yeah. Not a scent I would normally get, but for 99 cents, I was willing to try something new. It's cotton, jasmine, and silk. You know, and I might be coming around to jasmine because um, I've had some samples that have come to me in some recent orders with some jasmine, like, you know, and it's nice. It's really pretty. Maybe I'm coming around to that one too. This is really pretty. This is like... um. Ooh, it's feminine. It, yeah, ooh, it's feminine, it's fresh, it's, um, I do, I get, I get actually all of those things. Cotton, jasmine, silk. So it'd be like if a, a lady got out of the shower, you know, and just like maybe slipped into some like silk pajamas, you know, and just that really clean, pure feeling. Excited for that one. And these were 99 cents, you guys. Um, I got Red Hot Hearts. I know I didn't have this one in my Valentine basket, um, but I'm really excited because it's cinnamon and sugar. And you know me with my cinnamon scents. They can be year-round, so... Some of these might be saved. Some of these might be used. Stay tuned. <laughs> Who knows? I'm definitely a mood melter. I don't know if you guys are. Um, I'm, I don't really consider myself a seasonal melter. I mean, sometimes I am, but other times I just melt what the mood tells me to melt. If I wake up one day and I am like, you know, it might be 90 degrees outside and I just might want all the heavy bakery, heavy spice, heavy pumpkin. I just, I kind of just have to do how I feel, you know. Um, I don't think I had this one in my Valentine basket either. This is Island Love. I don't think I did. Did I? Yeah, I don't think I did. Because it's floral. And I, I think the last time um, I got these, I just got one floral. But for 99 cents, I was willing to give it a try. It's funny, this doesn't give me floral on cold. This gives me kind of like aquatic beachy vibes. But I did learn the last time um, on my floral one that things can definitely change on warm. Because remember, I got a floral one because it didn't smell floral on cold. And then once I warmed that sucker, all the floral notes came out. Um, but yeah, but I like this one on cold, so I'm willing to give it a try. And then my last little bunch here, oh, I'm so excited for these. Okay, so it is Orange Crush, and I got four. And I would have gotten more if they had more. So I am not a fan of orange, like in the sense of like, citrusy kind of like that acidic fresh squeezed orange juice i don't really care for that i like you know orange creamsicle i love that so when i saw this 
and I almost just passed it up. But then I looked at the picture and I thought, okay, maybe it's gonna, you know, give me orange creamsicle vibes. Okay, so bakery opened it up, and when I smelled this beautiful piece of orange wax, guess what I got? One hundred percent fruity pebble, fruit loop, um, marshmallow crispy vibes. Like if I didn't see this clamshell or yeah, if I didn't see this and I just smelled this without knowing, this could easily pass for um, Walmart marshmallow crispies. It, it is so delicious. It is so cereal forward. I mean, I can see why they named it Orange Crush because the orange note is there, but all of those cereal notes are there. The lemon, the berry. So basically, I mean, I just, I consider these to be just another form of Marshmallow Krispies. So <laughs> I, yeah, Orange Crush might be the name, but smell-wise, it's Marshmallow Krispies all the way. And I got them for 99 cents. So if you live near a Kroger, hey, pop in there. Um, and see what you can find. Um, yeah, you might find some scents that I didn't, but for 99 cents, can't beat it. So I am at 31 minutes, you guys. Um, <laughs> as I said, this is pretty big for me. I normally don't have all, you know, this much retail wax at one time, but I just wanted to get on here and share what I had before my collection got any bigger. Uh, but thanks so much for clicking on and spending this time with me. Uh, leave me a comment. Uh, let me know maybe some of these scents that you have or, you know, don't have. Um, let me know what your retail wax loves are. And thanks again for subscribing. If you are not already a subscriber, I would love for you to be a part of Curious Collections. Just hit that little subscribe button, hit that like button, leave me a comment. I love to know who's out there. And um, I, I appreciate y'all. Y'all have a great rest of your Sunday and I will see you for the next video. Bye everybody.